Uma das minhas músicas preferidas vai lançar agora. Abra sua Bíblia para 1 Timóteo 1. I'm going to look at Zechariah 3, really, but I want to start with 1 Timothy 1. And, uh, there's no notes available today except for your own no paper. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, we thank you for your presence. Obrigado pela sua palavra, Senhor. We ask you that you would increase, Father, your presence by your sua presença pelo seu Espírito. Father, to take... Uh, the precious things, Lord, that belong to your Son. And in Christ are all the riches of wisdom and knowledge. And this is key, this is key. We ask you that you release nuggets of understanding by the Holy Spirit in our hearts and our minds. Lord, that you would illumine our understanding. Father, we ask you for the entrance of your word. Lord, to bring light, Lord, the very pentada da sua palavra, de luz, to reveal, Father, to make known the truth of who you are in your holy heart, in Jesus' name. Evangelho de Jesus. Before we uh, jump in to First Timothy, I just want to um, highlight um, Mike Bickle. He gave a message this Friday uh, to our staff, and uh, talking about the prophetic history, where he highlighted. Uh, four specific Saturdays uh, where the Lord uh, Mike falou sobre quatro proféticos sábados durante o jejum em 1983 quatro sábados May 14th, May, uh, 7 de maio 14, 21 e 28 um, spoke in some very dramatic and very specific way. o Senhor falou dramaticamente that these that these uh, that these four days is uh, the first uh, uh, on May 7th is when the Lord uh, confirmed Sir confirmou Daniel 9 by the, the, the release of the comet and jejum, you comment the 14th the Lord spoke about his zeal to um, reveal and give grace to discover his beauty Psalm 27 4 14, Psalm 27:4. Um, he spoke Dia 21, uh, uh, Deus falou sobre poder e cura que Ele quer nos dar. Dia 28, falou sobre perseverança. And so when uh, he highlighted these uh, these message uh, these four Saturdays last Friday, and I guess want to encourage us to to say that you know the prophetic history they're not his story they're not the story of the IFKC leadership team, but really they are our story and they're the story for our children and for our children's children. So the prophetic is our story. Even for the nossos filhos as gerações da frente. Them, I try to take about it once a year myself just to kind of. Listen just to different aspects of the prophetic. Eu ouço uma vez por ano a história. And encourage, because again, it's 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 your story. It's a sua história. Parte da sua vida e seus filhos. E netos. Sobre Kansas City, a região. Encourage you to um, check it out. It's on YouTube. Message from last uh, Friday. But then also, I want to encourage you just to listen to the prophetic history. There are several. Um, Ouça a história profética. Tem muitas sessões. MikeBickle.org. Ok. Um, first Timothy chapter 1. First Timothy chapter 1. I just want to uh, make it Timóteo. about um, our response to the gospel. Our response uh, to the gospel. And uh, we're going to jump into Zechariah chapter 3. Um, because this issue of responding to the gospel of grace um, is really the way that we're to respond to God's heart and God's purposes for the nation of Israel. In First Timothy, Paul, of course, writing to um, his spiritual son Timothy, and starting at verse 12. Christ Jesus, our Lord. Obrigado, Senhor. Because he counted me faithful, put me into the ministry. Fiel, me no ministry. He's talking 
about the first thing he says, he says, look, this, this apostolic calling that I'm walking in came by divine enablement. This, this came by the grace of God. And I'm, and I'm grateful to the Lord that he um, has enabled me, he has appointed me, he has visited me by his grace uh, to partner with him in this way, to serve him and to serve his people in this way. And Paul continues, although he, he puts it in contrast, he goes, it's, he says, uh, Mesmo this, que... I'm walking in this assignment that is precious and holy to the Lord, even though or although formally, now Mesmo talking about his life before he knew the Lord, he said, although formally I was a blasphemer, Eu era um blasfemador. a persecutor of the people, of God. he was an insolent man or a man who behaved violently in a in, uh, in an arrogant way okay. and so he's describing who he was uh, before he knew the Lord he says this is who I was he says I was arrogant I was a blasphemer I was a persecutor I was a violent man he goes and yet God had mercy on me God um, uh, graced me God enabled me to me into this assignment as an apostle he says I did this ignorantly and in unbelief, verse 14, I love this phrase, excuse me, he says, and I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly, but in unbelief, and in verse, 16, uh, verse 14 he says, and I love this, and the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant. abundant. I just love that phrase. He doesn't just, he could have just said, and the grace of the Lord was abundant. That's pretty intense. He goes, no, it wasn't just abundant. He says, the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant. And beloved, that is my story. That is your story. It may not be story. these three categories, but it's something in terms of who we were before we obtained antes. mercy. Yeah, graça que and, um, and when we obtained mercy, God's grace was exceedingly de when he abundante quando nós damos a nossa vida para ele e continua a ser abundante conta em ti anda com ele com fé e amor que está em Jesus Paul continues in verse 15 he says he goes this is a faithful saying in other words in other words you can count on this você pode contar nisso it's very very true he's about to say something about himself he said, this is a faithful saying. He says, and it's worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save Jesus veio para o mundo para salvar pecadores. He came into the world to save sinners. And he says, of who I am the chief. De quem eu sou o principal, Paulo fala. However, in other words, he goes, I was the worst of them. Eu era o pior deles. That's who I was, Paul says. I was the worst of them. He goes, but I obtained mercy. Mas eu consegui graça. In his grace, I, I Jesus foi abundante. <laughs> it was, I was exceedingly abundant. His grace was. I want to say this again. When we met Jesus, however we met him, and encontramos Jesus, he was exceedingly ele foi abundant in his grace. Abundante com a graça abundant. Dele. In that grace, Ele continua sendo todos os nossos dias. Acceptance of us, not only that, but his empowerment to us to live obedient lives. And so Paul says that I'm the chief of sinners, verse 16. However, he says, for this reason I obtained mercy. Then in me first, por isso que eu consegui graça, para que em mim Jesus possa my life is a testimony of the long suffering of God. My life is a testimony of the patience of God. Minha vida é um testemunho da paciência de Deus. Of the patience of God. Sua vida. And testemunho da paciência. Look that he may show all long suffering here it is as a pattern to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life. In other words, again, my life is a pattern. The way the Lord has interacted with me, Paul says, is a pattern, is a witness 
But beloved, that is true for for all of us that our lives. Isso é verdade para todos nós. Nossas vidas são testemunha da paciência de Deus para aqueles que vão vir e acreditar à frente. So Paul, in verse 17, he, he explodes in worship. He says, now to the king, explode in louvor para o rei eterno, imortal, invisível, Deus que somente é sábio, seja honra e glória para sempre e sempre. Deus está explodindo com gratidão. So Paul continues in verse 18, he, he, he's, he's still talking to Timothy. He says, Timothy, I, I charge, this charge I commit to you. And this charge that he's giving to Timothy uh, comes in the context of something. And the context in which it comes is of Paul uh, uh, magnifying again the grace of God in his life. He says, just Paul magnificando a graça de Deus according to the vida dele. previously made, to you, uh, made concerning you, that by them you may wage the good warfare, having faith and a good conscience, which having rejected uh, concerning the faith, have suffered, some have suffered uh, shipwreck. In other words, he says, he says, Timothy, this grace that the Lord has given me, that grace really... Um, Timothy, essa graça também foi te dada, Timothy. Pelo he goes in, ministério profético. Segure essas profecias. Because again, it's the grace of God given to you that you may have a strong faith, that you may have a good conscience. And he says, and there's some who stopped doing this, and as a result, he goes, they shipwrecked their faith. And then he says, he says, of whom are uh, uh, Hermanius and Alexander, uh, who I delivered uh, to Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. And so here are these two men that somehow... They shipwrecked their faith, And Paul and he, and he said and Paul says because they're blasphemers. In other words, these men are behaving in the very same way that Paul was behaving before he got saved. Esses homens estão praticando a vida que Paulo praticava antes de encontrar Jesus. Essa graça que veio para mim pode ir para eles também. Mas eles estão em disciplina divina. Para que eles encontrem a graça de Deus. Lord and continue and obtain and walk in that exceedingly abundant grace. Graça de Deus. Here's the point I want to make. Verse 2, I mean chapter 2, verse 1. He says, therefore, então, he says, in light of this, Timothy, na luz disso, because of this, por causa disso, he goes, I exhort, I exhort you, Timothy, first of all, that you would make supplications, prayers, and Ore, thanks for all. E agradeço por todos os homens. He goes because we've been visited by the grace of God, because we obtained mercy. Again, this exceeding abundant grace. He goes the. Por causa da graça abundante que recebemos, a nossa resposta é para chorar por todos os homens que eles encontrem essa graça. He says four kings. And for all who are in authority, now the reason why he he por reis e todos em autoridade orar por reis. Parentheses about kings and all those who are in authority is because this verse often gets made about kings and authority. It is not. This verse is a prayer for all men, but he highlights uh, kings and 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 these these political leaders who are in authority because our natural tendency is to not pray for them. A natural tendency to not pray, but a natural tendency is to almost kind of like pray to them in some ways um, instead of praying. Nossa tendência é orar Paul makes it very clear. a eles em vez de por eles. Verse 4 and 5, he says, because, not so much because of the change in the law, so that's important. He says, because God desires even their salvation. Deus deseja a oração deles. In that context, about Nero, who was... Again, like Paul, he was in a different way, but he was a blasphemer. He was a he was an insolent man. He was a violent man. He he was the, he was the state sponsor of the violent, igual Paulo, antes perseguidor. I have discovered the exceeding abundant grace of God in my life. Eu descobri a graça abundante de Deus na minha vida. Eu acredito nela para todos os homens, incluindo aqueles em autoridade. Because 
the, the subject of Israel, of praying for Israel, has to do with us responding to the Lord based upon the grace that has been extended to us. The theme of Israel is to respond to the grace that God has given us. To Israel to do because we've been visited by Porque nós fomos visitados pela graça de Deus, por isso que a gente ora por Israel. Israel discussion, it can easily be perceived as Israel's being prayed for um, uh, by, uh, by, the, by the church because somehow she's innocent or quote unquote the good guys. And the reason I brought this up because we do the same thing in é the é bom. The way I don't know about you, so I'm, you know, I'm just going to talk about myself and my own experience. I've run into this many, many times. Na minha experiência. Regardless of who's in office, I'm asking people to, you know, to pray for this person or whatnot. And invariably, and this happens more times than once, it's happened actually quite a lot. The response is, well, orar you know, I'm not praying for them because of da 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 da. As pessoas não querem orar pela autoridade. Number one, they've been for, they've forgotten that they were visited by grace. And number two, that they have que eles that we foram visitados pela graça. Não é para orar só para os bons. Mas a gente não era bom. A gente era, a gente era inimigos de Deus. And like Paul, who was a pattern and a witness, God visited us with exceedingly and abundant grace. Deus nos visitou com graça. Então é para orar para essa graça. Para Israel. Mesma coisa. Same subject. Zechariah chapter 3. Turn to everyone, please. Zacarias 3. Zechariah chapter 3. I want to talk this morning about a prophetic perspective. About what I mean by prophetic, meaning that the, the, uh, Zechariah had this prophetic encounter in Zechariah chapter 3. A prophetic perspective on how to bless Israel. The Lord tells Abraham. Perspectiva profética de como abençoar Jesus. Israel. Deus fala, Abraão, eu vou abençoar aqueles que te abençoarem. Então, o que Abençoar Israel é concordar com Deus na escolha de Abraão que ele fez aceitando a escolha de Deus ele escolheu Abraão um, did not get suspended with the new covenant. There's this idea that because of the new covenant, the birth of the princípio que Deus começou a crescer em Israel continua no Novo Testamento. To the Jewish people, in fact, it is a principle that is true throughout history, and it really pela história. into some real prat intensely practical implications uh, during the Great Tribulation when Israel would just will come under under great great pressure. Now, though this principle did not cease with the birth of the church, um, it does include the church because the because Abraham. Esse princípio inclui a igreja. Very clearly, it is it's it's. A semente de Abraão. É três. Jesus, a semente. And then o povo judeu é a semente. E a igreja também é a semente de Jesus que foram conectadas. A videira. It's a very, it's Inter. a very serious principle that I will bless those who bless you, I will curse those who curse you. Again, this is. Muito sério, eu vou abençoar aqueles que te abençoarem e amaldiçoar aqueles que te amaldiçoam. Here's what Paul says to the church of Thessalonica. Paul fala em Segunda Tessalônica 3. God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you, and that really. É uma coisa correta que Deus repague com tribulação. Aqueles que te perseguem. To trouble the church, he says, if they don't turn, God will trouble them with. Se eles não tornarem, Deus vai tribular eles. I will curse those who curse you. Now, David um, declared. David declarou. Famous verse in Psalm 1. Esse versículo famoso, 20, Salmo 22, 6. Ore pela paz de Jerusalém. 
Que prosperem aqueles que te amam. Ore pelo Shalom de Jerusalém. De tudo que Deus prometeu. Abençoe eles e você vai prosperar. Não está escrito. Prosperar não quer dizer ficar bilionário. Prosperar. Abençoe Israel e você vai ser frutífero no que Deus na missão que Deus te deu é sobre ser frutífero na missão dada por Deus se você abençoa que você seja frutífero em qualquer esfera que você é que parte de e então, a ideia de blessings e cursings, here's what it, it includes three things. First of all, it has to do with the issue of intentions. Number one, and number two, sobre intenção, spoken, palavras faladas, actions taken, e ações. It is the, in other words, it are intentions that inform our words. As nossas intenções informam nossas palavras, que informam as ações. So when we're talking about blessings, Quando estamos falando sobre, sobre bênçãos, bênçãos são palavras e ações que são afirmadas pela intenção de ser de ajudar. Bênçãos são palavras e ações que são afirmadas pela intenção de ajudar. Maldição é o oposto. To be harmful, or to resist, or to not cooperate with. Again, blessings um, are rooted in the desire to be helpful. Ajudar. And curses. Benção é a intenção de ajudar. Helpful. E a maldição para não ajudar. Now, the reason why um, I'm I'm make, I'm bringing this definition to the table is because notice that the intention is to be helpful. Intenção. É para ajudar. We are in a time right now Estamos vivendo num tempo. Loyalty equals agreement. Lealdade igual. Agreement concordar. Equals loyalty. Therefore, I cannot bring critique about a particular thing. If I bring critique about a particular thing, se eu critico, I'm labeled as against. Aí eu sou chamado como contra essa coisa. And so blessing. Israel doesn't mean that we are blindly just accepting anything and everything that Israel does. A missão de Jesus não quer dizer que a gente concorda com tudo que Israel faz. Again, blessing Israel doesn't mean that now we are accepting anything and everything that we did. That's why I started with the First Timothy passage. We're not praying for Israel because most people in this room are conservatives. This is got nothing. It has it's got nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with. Well, you know, Americans, you know, is, is an ally, you know, you know, our biggest ally in the Middle East for democracy is Israel. It's got zero to do with that. It has everything to do with the fact that we've been, that we've been visited. Tem nada a ver com política. Só tem a ver and com que nós fomos visitados com a graça de Deus. We are respondendo, and we pedindo para Deus. Para que Deus mande essa graça para eles. It's about the grace of God. It's about de having been visited by the gospel. That's what it's about. Again, it's Visitados a pelo evangelho. time where, um, uh, again, loyalty equals agreement. You know, this happened Se about to get run out of town. We're about to get into old, so I don't, you know, and I don't run that fast, so that's good news for you. You can catch me. All right, anyway, uh, you know, it's like, This is how this loyalty equals agreement thing works out. I saw it during the pandemic. Na pandemia. You know, it's kind of like if you are a left-leaning liberal, você é da esquerda. Because if you don't wear a mask, máscara. you'll be labeled as someone that's. Se você, se você não usa máscara, parece que você é alguém if que you, não se importa com humanos. Sure, you better not wear that mask because you're. Se você. You need to the antichrist. 
Se você é da direita e você usa uma máscara, aí você é do anticristo. O cara da esquerda que não quer usar máscara, mas ele está preocupado de um monte de gente vai ficar falando com ele sobre que ele não se importa com ninguém. Esse jeito de pensar está entrando na igreja e atrapalhando a voz profética. Mas o Deus está nos ajudando. Quando so when we're talking about Israel, we're not talking now about abraçar tudo deles. Não é sobre política deles. É sobre o pacto que Deus fez. He says that they're enemies of the gospel for your sake. He said, but for the sake of the fathers, they are beloved. Of his friend Abraham, because he made a commitment Abraham. to uh, he made a commitment to him, he made a commitment to Isaac, he made a commitment to Jacob. He says it because it, he said it's on that account that they are beloved of God. So the evil one is postured o maligno, to um, day and night to oppose to accuse Jerusalem. Zacharias standing there and presumably on his right and on his left the Lord is standing on his left and on the right is the evil one and he says he's there to oppose him and we from Zacharias that, uh, uh, that Joshua would look at it that just a moment is representative of Jerusalem Joshua is representative of Jerusalem he's calling the church uh, to come before the Lord And here it is, and through the word of God, come into alignment with his heart. We don't want to come in alignment with his heart through politics. We want to come in alignment to his heart through the, the understanding of the gospel by the grace of God, the exceedingly abundant grace of God. Graças a Deus, abundante. With his heart and his vision for Israel and for the Jewish people. We now do this in accordance to uh, uh, to his counsel, the very counsel of God. That's com how we de Deus. And prophesy. It's a the counsel de of God Deus. found in the Word of God. No If we don't Deus. do that, we end up doing what Paul says. We end up boasting against the branch. Boasting against the branch. What does he mean by the phrase boasting against the branch? It não. means that we end up bringing self-righteous against Israel and the Jewish people. What are these self-righteous indictments against Israel and the Jewish people? They are in where we pretend as though we once were not delivered by grace. That we ourselves have not been delivered by grace. That's what Paul means by boasting against the branches. And that's why this is not a political response, it is a gospel response. It's us, again, we were encountered by the exceedingly abundant of God's grace. So the primary purpose, Zechariah chapter 3, the primary purpose of, uh, of the book of uh, Zechariah is the future of Jerusalem, the purpose of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Prophet Zechariah in the first... Six chapters of Zechariah, he has, the poor guy, I guess, eight visions in one night. Eight visions in one night. Friday goes to sleep, wakes up, boom, has a vision, writes it down, tries to take it up, falls back to sleep, wakes up, boom, gets hit with another Visions in a row in one night. And they're all focused on God's Todas focadas no zelo de Deus sobre Jerusalém. O plano dele de trazer essa cidade para a compleção do destino deles. 
Zechariah chapter 8 verse 2 the Lord says this for Zion or for Jerusalem because I'm for Zion and yearnings that city is personal to him he has deep emotion deep concern deep love deep affection about it's a city that will that will last forever on the earth in Chronicles chapter 33 Verse 4, he says, He also built altars Sim, in the house of the Lord, of which the, of which the Lord has said, Sim, Lord Jerusalem, In Jerusalem, my name, I will put my name there forever. Eu meu nome para in Jerusalem shall be my name. Em Jerusalem estará meu nome para in other words, the unveiling of who I am, the knowledge of who I am, the revelation of my power, the revelation of my purpose, the revelation of my character will be in that city forever, and from there it will permeate the, uh, the nations of the earth. Jerusalem is a city chosen by God, where the revelation of God's name will be forever. According to, Zach, according to the prophet Isaiah, from there, Jesus will instruct the nations concerning the glory of his Father. Jerusalem will be an instructional center. According to Isaiah chapter 2, it will be a um center of instruction. A cidade. In Isaiah 11, it will be a global justice center. O centro global de justiça. It will be a global worship center. According to Isaiah 25. Isaiah 27, it will be a restoration center. de restauração. It will be a place from where. The kings of the earth will gain insight on how to bring restoration to their nations and to their cities. We have to, we have to remember that when Jesus comes back, Jesus this voltar, may be a new idea to back to a war zone. Ele volta uma he comes back to the zona de guerra, ravished by terra destruída pela... disease. Earthquakes, tribulação, guerra, fome, pestilência. O planeta destruído, completamente. When it comes to and uh, uh, when it comes to political leaders, I mean, imagine this. I mean, you know, different ones of us. You know, depending on how you lean. Planeta cheia de cinismo. There is a growing. Líderes políticos. Like. I mean, we've, we've already been distrustful of government, but there is like an increased distrust of government today. Well, this distrust of government will reach eschatological heights and it will be global after Jesus comes back. Desconfiança. The most evil. The government will aumentar muito. The, the, the three tempos. years, so to speak, of the Antichrist. Complete and utter destruction. Destroy it there. And so there's confusion in the earth, there's cynicism, there's trauma, there's loss, there's grief, and Jesus comes back and he sets up Jerusalem as a restoration center. Jesus He talks about the Queen of Sheba. He, he kind of said, hey, you know, First Kings chapter 10. Ele fala da rainha da Sheba. Solomon. Y'all remember that? Que veio Salomão. Because what happens in First Kings chapter 10, the Queen of Sheba, she visits. A rainha de Sheba visita Salomão. That when he showed her, this is amazing, when he showed her. Quando ele mostrou ela. All of this stuff. I mean, he showed him. As coisas. As leis, administração, liderança. The organization. Os prédios. And all of this stuff, do, do reino says, dele. Saw all this stuff, it viu, says her spirit left her. In other words, o espírito she dela saiu dela. Ela, ela, ela desmaiou. She was completely, utterly blown away by Solomon's wisdom. It says in First Kings chapter four, that God gave Solomon wisdom. We all know that, but we Deus all, Salomão, you know, sabedoria. wisdom he gave. Uh, uh, to Solomon. We used to focus on the Proverbs, which is good, and we used to focus on the splitting of the baby, which is kind of weird. But First Kings tells us that he gave him wisdom about trees, birds, fish, Deus deu Salomão, sabedoria, 
sobre árvores, pássaros. E vocês da terra vinham a Salomão. Ah, tem um problema com a floresta. E Salomão ajudava. A sabedoria que Deus deu. Jesus fala da visita da rainha. E fala. Tem um maior que Salomão aqui. Você sabe quem eu sou? Você sabe como vai ser quando eu voltar? As a restoration center, when the earth has been ravaged by the Antichrist and his minions, I mean, the Jerusalem como centro de restauração, the people, no meio do mundo destruído, filled with distrust, he goes, the kings of the earth, they will. Seis da terra vão vir para Jerusalém. I, the one who is greater than Solomon, will get the wisdom and. Eu que sou maior de Salomão, vou dar sabedoria para eles e cura para as nações. Eles vão trazer de volta as personações deles. Então, isso é I grew up in a very small country called Suriname in South America. Numa... And um, uh, pequena... I remember America do Sul, Suriname. Second grade, I'm on the playgrounds. Como Most of you. Segundo ano da escola. Okay, you you know in the millennium. And uh, and so I'm kind of walking around. I remember you know, you know doing what kids do. I don't know, make a sand castle, maybe punching somebody in the face. I don't know. We're doing something. And uh, this kid. One of my classmates, you know, walks up to me out of nowhere and he goes, Who do you want to be president of the United fala. States? And uh, because it was Ronald Reagan and Jimmy Carter were, were running for the president. He goes, No, no, he goes, Who do you want to be president, Carter or Reagan? Carter or Reagan? I don't know nothing. I, I said Reagan, no one said Reagan because his name sounded nicer. And so. Now I remember this so vividly. I said, I said Reagan, Reagan and he goes, "Good." He goes, "Because Jimmy Carter is a peanut farmer." Porque Carter é um fazendeiro de and so, yeah. amendoim. So that was the depth of his political analysis. But, uh, but, but here's the point: what what were two second graders talking que about duas American? De segundo ano falando sobre that is the presence of. of America in the earth. That's what's going to happen to Jerusalem. So present. Você tão presente na Terra. That it will be the conversation. Que você conversa com as pessoas da Terra e vai dar alegria para eles. That's what he means by it will be the joy of the whole earth. As the end of the age draws near, Jerusalem. Will continue to come more and more into the forefront of the conversations of the church. It's God's eternal plan for the world centers around this city. One of the reasons is because de Deus para o mundo assentado nessa cidade. Object lesson for the nations. Jerusalem is a witness. Jerusalém é um testemunho da liderança de Deus para o mundo. Part of how God is going to, going to display o jeito que Deus vai mostrar quem Ele é, a glória deles para as nações, é pelo que Ele faz ou não faz ou não faz. Ele não faz em redenção e julgamento. As nações vão entender Jesus' kingdom as Jesus' reino. Então, as nações vão entender como Ele se relaciona com as nações. Então, as nações vão entender como Ele se relaciona com as nações. Então, as nações vão entender como Ele se relaciona com as nações. Então, as nações vão entender como Ele se relaciona com as nações. Então, as nações vão entender como Ele se relaciona com as nações. Então, as nações vão como Jesus é para eles, Jesus é com você. This is the same God. É o mesmo Deus. There is no shadows in turning. Não tem sombras. Him. There's no deviation. Não tem there, there is no variation. Não tem variação. This is why the subject is so important. Por isso que esse lock in é to understanding how he relates with Jerusalem. It will magnify our understanding about who he is and what it is that he's like. And be like, man, if this is what you're like towards them, wow. He goes, that's how you are. 
towards me. Como Jerusalém, Which uau, is again, assim que o século é político. Isso não pode ser político. I'm in favor of Israel because of some political stance. I'm like, it's got nothing to do with anything. Não He goes, em favor de Israel, por causa de nada político. Because the God who we love Porque is o Deus que nós amamos está por eles. Everything to do with Him and our interactions with Him, and and so they go, but what about all these different things? And I'm like, well, you know, my guess is some of it is propaganda. Some of it might be true. I'm like, it doesn't change the story. It doesn't change the fact that, that, that God's engagement with that city and that people has everything to do with the grace of God. É tudo sobre a graça de Deus. So here's what happens in Zechariah chapter 3. Zacarias 3. And then we'll we're just going to wrap it up just a few moments. Joshua is standing there, the angel of the Lord, Joshua Jesus, the Lord the, uh, before he became a man, is standing right there, the Jesus, Son of God. Jesus, the angel of the Lord, and the accuser is standing right there. And he's standing there for the purpose of opposing Jerusalem. One of the reasons why he's seeking to oppose Jerusalem is because Jerusalem is not in a good condition. In fact, it says that, uh, that Joshua, his garments were dirty. He, he has these filthy garments. And uh, for those of you interested, you can look it up. It's actually quite graphic. It wasn't just a little bit of dirt and some mud. It was actually a quite graphic picture in terms of the condition of his priestly garments. And the enemy is muito terríveis. And what he's doing, he's seeking to charges de why Jerusalem is priest. disqualified for the call of God. Zechariah chapter 3 addresses the issue of God's election. Sure. However, he also highlights her present condition. He doesn't overlook it. Zechariah sees that Joshua's garments are soiled. Um, um, with, uh, all, uh, with all kinds of stuff. So Zechariah 3, Zechariah 3 us a model nos dá um modelo bless Jerusalem de como abençoamos Jerusalém e Israel. Abençoamos eles no meio da condição presente. Suja. Como abençoar querer ajudar and it informs our actions. Zechariah 3 is as palavras e ações. While she is in her present condition, what's her present Na condition? Dela presente. Are dirty. As roupas dela estão sujas. Profoundly uh, compromised. And she is significantly, according to Romans 11:28, is significantly significantly called some enemies of the gospel. Israel são inimigos de Deus no, do, do evangelho no momento. Inside here how to Bless Israel, how to pray e aqui nós mostramos como abençoar Israel. Como prover. Romanos 15, 27, que Isaac falou. Para a gente prover materialmente para aqueles que nos estão sofrendo. Here are four ways of how we can stand with Israel. Number one. Romans 10:1 we pray. Romans 10:1 we pray. Quatro de abençoar Israel. Romanos 10, 1, oramos. We find opportunities and build relationships. Cinco, achamos oportunidades e para apresentar o evangelho. Três, a gente provê para eles. E quatro, a gente faz paz. Paul talks about the mystery. Of, of Jew and Paulo fala do mistério de judeus e gentios ficando um. Nós ativamente estamos contra o antissemitismo. A gente quer criar paz com eles. A gente ora, a gente prega, a gente provê e a gente protege. Para a literação, 4 P's. Obrigado. I worked really hard on those four P's. Trabalhei bem forte nesses quatro P's. So we pray, preach, provide, and protect. So Zechariah, here's what happens. He sees the accuser. Just bear with me for a moment. He sees the accuser. And the accuser, what he seeks to do, he's seeking to make a case. Ele quer fazer um caso. Por que Jerusalém é desqualificado? And what we see here is that the election of Israel, Israel has nothing 
nothing to do with her ability. It has everything to do with the grace and the Tudo sobre a graça de Deus. The accuser, he manifests himself in many ways. But the primary way in which he manifests, he manifests manifesta by putting focus, by directing focus on her failure na and failures dela. nations to conclude that he is done with her because ele of her failure. Que Deus está the, the enemy manifests, the, the, the accuser opposes Israel is by magnifying ele her magnificar and then as failures. Nations that he's de Jerusalém, done. convencendo as nações que Deus terminou com o propósito de Jerusalém. In other words, that God has done with his divine election and purpose. And I want to just say, Deus não terminou com Jerusalém. He's not done with his election and his purpose. Dele para essa cidade. The orientation of this world of the world is a do mundo. based election. In other words, earning the divine appointment. Não é sobre trabalhar e ganhar. Trabalhar para conseguir essa eleição de Deus. Deus fala, não é isso. Você não veio para o reino de Deus pelo que você fez. A gente não veio para o reino de Deus assim. Alguns pensam que Deus fez um bom dia quando nos trouxe. Tem gente que fala, ah, Deus... Okay, you, you, Deus, ele está uh, ganhando com a gente. Não, that's not how this thing went at all. Paul says he chose the foolish things of this world. Ele escolheu as coisas. This thing, beloved, this thing is about. Que não são qualificadas. Sobre a graça de Deus. Quando a gente pensa na eleição, a gente procura de qualificações. A gente está nos exposando sobre quanto a gente não entende o Evangelho. Esquecendo que a gente foi visitado por graça abundante. E assim que o inimigo faz, ele fala porque eles não são qualificados. É isso que acontece. O Senhor The evil one. Rebuke. He rebukes him. He says, I Maligno do fala, not agree with your concordo. assessment. I don't, I don't agree with you at all. He goes, no. He goes, no. He, he looks at the evil one. He goes, no. He goes, I don't agree with you. He goes, no. He goes, you are the one that's disqualified. Você é um que é o desqualificado, Satanás. Because that is part of the issue of the evil one. Parte do problema do Satanás. Is that according to Isaiah 14? Here's the issue. Com Isaías 14. <laughs> he utterly despises the fact that he was not elected. Ele, ele odeia que ele não foi eleito. Charge against God. Ele tem um problema com Deus. And he's filling the earth. Ele está enchendo a terra com esse com esses sentimentos dele. He goes, you're the one that's not qualified. He goes, there is no truth in you. You're a liar. Você está mentindo. He goes, there's no life in you. You're a murderer. Não tem vida em você. He goes, there's no generosity in you. Não you're a thief. Não tem generosidade em você. Você é um bandido. The Lord, he said, and it's the Lord. He goes, the Lord, who has chosen Jerusalem, rebuke you. So Like no, it's not just any, just the Lord. It's no, the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem. He is the one that rebukes you. Ele and the reason the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem is because that is the issue. Que esse é o problema. That is the issue. The enemy's accusation is deeply rooted in the idea of a continual self-justification of why he deserves. O de Satanás está enraizada na ideia que a nossa justiça vem de nós. It's not the choice, it's that we were not the ones chosen. Que nós And the Lord looks at this is this one not a brand plugged by the fire. In other words, 
You don't think that I'm aware? Você não acha que eu sei de quem não, te, não conheço quem eu escolhi? Você acha que eu não sei as falhas dele? A condição dele? Fui eu que pus no fogo. Eu sei quem escolhi. I'm not aware of your stuff. It's like, uh huh. Hmm. Yes. Because I prepared a fire for her. I will purify her. I will prepare her. Because you don't think I see her condition? Você não acha que eu vejo a condição dela? Você não acha que eu tenho planos? Raise her up and to be the one who qualifies her. Ser o que qualifica ela? We ended with this. The worst didn't come up. And then he, Lord, the Lord continues. Então, Senhor, continua. After, he's, after he rebu rebukes the evil one, he looks, I love this, he looks at the angels. Ele olha aos anjos. He goes, take away the filthy garments. Tira as roupas sujas dele. Beloved, that's what happened with you and me the day we were born. Isso aconteceu com a gente quando a gente nasceu de novo. Eles tiraram nossas roupas sujas. He goes, see, I have removed her iniquity. Ele fala, vi. Eu tirei a iniquidade dela. Isso ainda não aconteceu ainda naquele tempo. Mas... Eu vou remover a iniquidade. Eu vim e vou prover. Através da cruz, vou remover o pecado de Jerusalém. Não é o jeito que eu fiz para você. I will do things in the earth. I will create an optimal environment of this fire of discipline that will purify her. Um fogo que vai purificar ela. E aí eu vou tirar ela do fogo. Is this one not a brand plugged by the fire, beloved? You and I are like a brand plugged from the fire. Nós dois, a gente é do, saindo do fogo. And when it was this, Zechariah is watching this vision. A criança está vendo essa visão. He's watching the Lord está vendo o Senhor King, the evil one. contra o diabo. And then he charges the angels, take ele away the iniquity. Tira a iniquidade. Brother is so jazzed by this vision. Então, he butts into the conversation. Uau. He goes, yeah, why? Zacarias fala. Put a on her head too. Zacarias adiciona. Põe um turbão na cabeça dela também. When he says that, guess what? The angels do it. Os anjos obedecem. And that's how we bless Israel. É assim que a gente abençoa Jerusalém. A gente vê a narrativa de Jesus quando ele está falando sobre essa cidade. A gente entra na conversa e os anjos vão trabalhar com isso. 100 milhões de intercessores vão falar. Coloca um turbão na cabeça dele. Put a turban on him. Coloca um turbão na cabeça. As the Lord puts on that helmet of salvation, that revelation of truth. E aí o Senhor, os anjos colocam capacete da salvação, entendimento. The name of God. E eles escrevem o nome de Deus na testa dela. The good news is this. A boa notícia é isso. If he's that way to, towards them, he's that way towards them. He's that way towards them. Let's all stand. Vamos levantar. Some of you, let's just close your eyes. Let's just take a moment to Fecha talk. Olhos. Fala com o Senhor. Some of you are going. You know what? There's just some stuff about my life. Some of it was years ago. Como vocês têm algumas coisas. Na sua vida, and you know the Lord has given you. But at the same time, you have concluded Mas você concluiu that you're disqualified que você é from the fullness of the call of God. Do que Deus te Beloved, Israel in her condition. And to talk about her condition according to the word is another subject for another day. But when we see her condition according to the word, Israel and the Jewish people, by the grace of God, Israel, will be ushered into the fullness na, na do que Deus if he's that way towards them. 
He's that way towards us. Celia cinco, Misael. Celia cinco, no busco. Some of you have been wrestling with this slight thought. Again, you're, you know you're forgiven, but you also have kind of sidelined yourself in the meanwhile. Mesmo você acha que você está perdoado, mas você tirou do, do jogo. Não é assim, graça de Deus. The grace of God cleanses. Graça de Deus limpa, cura. Restores, delivers, and he empowers. E fortalece. Para a gente andar. In a manner worthy of the gospel. Do jeito que. Let's talk to the Lord. Ele quer. For some of you, it was. Talk, years ago, for Talvez some of you, it was atrás, last. Talvez foi passada. You got yourself into some kind of way. And the evil one is opposing you. you by bringing charges to God <coughs> as to why you're no longer qualified. This is about the grace of God. Isso é sobre a graça de Deus. If he's that way towards Jerusalem. É assim com Jerusalém. He's that way towards you and me. É assim comigo e você. Because there's no variation, there's Não no tem shadow of turning in him. Não tem sombra de de virar. The Lord gracious. Quem ele é? O Senhor é gracioso. He cleanses. Ele limpa. He forgives ele perdoa, the repentant ele. heart. Coração que a heart that confesses coração que confessa to the Lord. o pecado ao Senhor. He's faithful to forgive. Ele é fiel a faithful to heal. perdoar. Just talk to the Lord. Again, there's some of you in this room that that is Alguns what's going on with isso you. Isso que está acontecendo com você. You say, yeah, I know I'm forgiven. You kind of go into life. Tá do jogo. But deep down inside. You think that what he has spoken to you about your calling que Deus te falou, are over. Já era, that is not consistent with the counsel of God in Zechariah. De Later on in Zechariah, he tells Zechariah that uh, tells Joshua that he will have authority to stand in the very courts of God. Our hearts to obey. Graça de Deus nos fortalece para conseguir. Grace, grace. Onde é sua graça, Senhor? Grace, grace. Some of you, the the thing that whatever the thing is that. Essa coisa. Essa condição. You know what? Que vem essa mente. In some cases, there's been a very specific person that's come to your mind. Talvez uma pessoa muito específica que você tem que falar com. Father, I ask you that you'd open up that door Abre essa porta. for that uh, safe and private confidential conversation. Lord, would you give that person wisdom da to the one struggling? Grace, grace. That is your way towards Jerusalem. That is your way towards us. Grace, grace. Esse é o jeito que você tem com Jerusalém e é o jeito que você faz com a gente. Grace, grace. Graça, graça. Grace, grace. Graça, graça. Grace, grace. Grace, grace. Exceedingly abundant. Abundantemente grace, Paul says. Grace, grace. Settle it today. Conserta isso hoje. Fully say yes to the fullness of God. sim completamente by the grace of God. Você. Fully yield your heart to Him by the grace of God. Say yes, settle it. Conserta hoje. Do not agree with the opposer's assessment. Não, não concorde com Satanás. Grace, grace. Graça. Father, would you heal hearts? Grace, Senhor, grace. Cura corações.
to heal minds. Grace, grace. Curing minds. Just talk to the Lord. For some of you, you have uh, held judgment against others. Então você está com julgamento contra outros. Their failures. As falhas deles. Solte isso. Let go. I'm not talking about an, an honest assessment in truth. We have that in the gospel. I'm talking about a judgment where you've disqualified them in your thoughts. Alguém que se desqualificou na sua mente. Grace, grace. Solta isso. talking about a person that they're, they're actually walking forward okay, and, and whatever it is that they the Lord says is this not a brand that I plugged from the fire this grace grace some of you are beginning to feel uh, just a sense of the Lord's presence Resting on you, it may even just be a, a sense of weight and a burning. If that's you, if that's you, grace, grace. If that's spirit of burning, spirit de queimar. Grace, grace. That spirit of burning. Some of you is just resting right on your chest and on the spirit to keep in so peito e atrás do seu pescoço. Grace, grace. For some of you, you're beginning to experience it in your, in your spirit. The prophet Ezekiel talks about the heat of the spirit inside of him. Grace, grace. More, Lord. My Savior. I want to invite uh, different ones on the ministry team just to come up and be praying for the ones are standing here. Lord, we ask you for more. Grace, grace. It's all across the room, Lord, we ask you for more of that grace. you are standing there, you just, uh, continue to talk to the Lord or you're dismissed. You just leave quietly because we're going to tend to pray for the ones who are standing here. If you're staying behind, just take a continue, just take a few moments, just continue to talk to the Lord if you're staying. Need a few more of you to come and pray for the ones there in front. 